Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Look what's arrived today. Finally. And finally is the reason for this video. So you guys have known in the past that we run a Jackery 1000. Well, before our big trip to the Kootenays this year, Joanne and I purchased a second one. Our idea was is that one would solely be for the fridge and have it plugged into the 12 volt while driving. And then it would just take care of the fridge overnight. And as we move again, it'd just charge. The other one was gonna run off solar power. Um, when we're at camp that would handle our drones our GoPros our mics stuff like that or just lights at camp So we thought two would be ideal and it turned out that The new one that we got was not acting properly so we contacted Jackery um, after our trips and It was a little bit of a process. It wasn't negative, but it was drawn out so we want to give you some tips on one of the purposes of this video is so that we can share with you our experience and if you have a problem with your Jackery, you'll already know the steps you'll have to take before you get a hold of them. And hopefully it's helpful. Actually, hopefully you don't need to know this video. That's true. All right, guys, let's start. Let's open. So we received the Jackery in May. Yeah. After we ordered it and it came quickly. They always do. They always do. Um, but we were experiencing what we thought was issues with charging in the 12 volt in the truck. Yeah, so the other one that we had before, our older one, seemed to maintain or actually gain while we were driving. And the new one was, was yeah, it was dropping. So it wasn't even keeping up with the 12 volt plugged in to the Jackery to keep it charged. Um, the fridge was still pulling too much and I was like, that's not right because when we were driving with our old one with the fridge, you would actually gain, and by the time you got to camp, it was 100%. After. So Jackery's reply to that was... This is... Oh, this it, is heavy, sorry. It actually takes 14 hours to fully charge using the 12 volt in the truck. Yeah. Which, so, okay, fair, you have an answer. We yeah. carried on and... So then the next, so that was, was that Farnham? I think that was... When it was doing that, that was Farnham when it wasn't gaining. And then we went on the whipsaw. Well, we went to the island. Oh, right, right. Sorry, I forgot about that. And fully charged both the Jackeries. The old one was running the fridge. And the new one I took out to go pump up the air mattress. Yeah. And knowing it was 100% charged, I just plugged everything. Nothing happened. I'll scroll this out. Apparently, it was reading as a completely dead Jackery. So I took it inside um, at Michelle and Holger's to plug it into the wall, and it literally took five minutes, and all of a sudden it was 100% and Which working. Which blows their theory out of the window, even with plugging it into 120, because 120 is like eight hours or something, I think. So that was another thing we experienced, and uh, Holger and I were out grabbing food, and we come back, she told us about this, I'm like, that's weird, and everybody's like, yeah, there's no way it can charge that fast. Yeah, it was very bizarre. And then we did our trip, I don't, was it on that trip that it kept, No. it, it didn't die, it wasn't. Deep. No, no, that wasn't, that was Whipsaw, that's that what was I was, whipsaw. yeah, that was okay. Whipsaw. So then it, it stayed normal for a while, and didn't act up, we, everything was being fine. It was working, charging off the solar panel. And then we went to Whipsaw, which was next week or, no, actually it was a few weeks later. It was about three weeks But there was later. communication with Jackery throughout that whole time. Oh my God, of, so many emails. I do have to say the one, and I don't know if it's a problem, you never get the same person responding to you. I, she's telling me all this because she took care of it all, It obviously. was crazy, so. I gotta say there was at least a dozen email interactions with probably f at least four different people throughout all this interactions. So maybe tell them the kind of stuff they were asking you for. So what they are wanting, if you ever need to, they <laughs> want proof, obviously. They want, keep your bill of sales, which I think most of us would do anyways when you spend that kind of money. They want photos, they want videos of things happening. They want it all. And it's hard, because there was a couple times we tried to make it do what they wanted, that it had done, 
But it's like taking your car to a mechanic, it's not gonna do it all of a sudden, right? So when they want a video, we're like, oh, how we can give you a video, it's not doing it. Yeah. So. And a good example of that was on the whipsaw when it was plugged in and we're going along and then we get to a stop and we're looking at it and it's not running. Yeah, so it was intermittently shutting off the AC outlet. So when you put something into a jackery, like most of you probably know, but for some that don't, if you wanna use the AP AC plug, you gotta power up the AC. Right? Well, what it was actually doing is every time we would stop, because you know, you're always spotting someone or this and that, so I'd check on the jackery in the back because we knew it was kind of being weird, it would be off. So it was just kicking off and we didn't know why. So it was just something we had to check throughout that trip. Try and film that. <laughs> yeah, and try to get that, right? Because you're more focused on having fun than, hey, what's going on with my jackery? Mm -hmm. What we did manage to send them was um, a Picture. picture of the jackery after three days on the trail still at 97 percent plugged in plugged in but it was showing no wattage Hold on. let me pull this off it's very plugged sad into the it? fridge we yeah we were running yeah. the fridge we we're running the fridge and it said no wattage going out well that's impossible because even to run the led lights on the fridge if the compressor isn't running it still takes about four watts if the fridge is running, it's running at around 70 to 73 watts, and it was saying there's nothing going out. But yet the fridge is running. So I'm like, this has got to be the killer. This has got to be the one that, you know, gets them. So we got pictures of it, everything else, and then Joanne did. So it came down, unfortunately, to saying refund or replace. Those are the options. Well, it wasn't really the full options because we had just gotten out of the th three month warranty. So they did agree to replace. And here we go. We have our replacement. We're hopefully not going to have any issues because like you said, we do love the Jackery. We don't yeah. have any issues with it. I wish though, when we bought the second Jackery, the V2 model came out like literally days later. Days later. Days, and that's got the flat retractable handle, but whatever, that's just a packing issue is all it is. Um, actually, it's got a little more power too for initial bang, but the Jackeries are awesome, which is why we went with another one. We didn't even consider another one. Like our, our first one had so much power and everything we needed and charged beautifully on the 12 volt. But yeah, that one was just- Finicky. Finicky, something weird. It's electronics, I guess, right? Yes. So, this has not been tested, but uh, we're going out this weekend. We'll update you. And we'll let you know. Yeah, hopefully it's good. It should be good. I think so. But yeah, if you have any issues with Jackery, photos, videos, anything. That's what they're going to want. To state your case. Yeah, so I guess what we're trying to do with our little PSA here is if you notice anything weird going on with your Jackery, film it right away, get a picture right away, because we were sort of like, explaining to them what happened and they were like no we need like pictures video blah 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 and unless you're actually noticing it at the time and you don't remember to take out your camera it's going to be hard to get later trust me because we had to wait for it to act up again absolutely so as you heard walter say earlier we are heading out this weekend this is a super exciting trip for us for many many reasons um, we are going to explore an area that is completely 100 percent brand new to us Highly recommended, and uh, we are looking super forward to checking it out. We're bringing some people with us. And another key point, we switched from Gaia to Onyx. I finally did it. <laughs> Gaia has been the bane of my existence. I'm, I'm sure people love it, but I don't know if it just doesn't work with my infotainment system. If, it, if I'm doing something wrong, I don't think I am because I've asked people to help me download stuff. But every time I get out of service, it stops where I had last service and does not, even though I've downloaded maps, does not follow along or show me my routes. Actually, it shows the routes, but it won't show where I am. Right. Yeah, and it freezes. Yeah, and then, and then it'll freeze and then it's just, so some people said, you know, it just doesn't work with your infotainment system. So we actually went out, incurred the expense and we bought an iPad, cellular version, so that's not the deal. And we tried it again. And then we went to, I think, with the iPad was... Whipsaw. Whipsaw. So 
We got lost. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> we, first, we got to, as we gassed up at Eastgate, and then we got to the Whipsaw Trailhead, and I looked at the iPad, and I'm like, it has a still back at Eastgate. <laughs> so thankfully, other people had it, and we were following around. And somehow we got lost anyway. So we got to see a cool mine, which was good for some of our friends. Um, but I was still frustrated that there's no way I should be getting lost on this trail at all. Um, so we, I bit the bullet last week and we went to Onyx and trail building and files and downloading has been a dream so far. Um, well, I guess we'll find out this weekend. We'll find out if it translated. Yeah. So we'll see, we're gonna go completely or infotainment free, where it's gonna just be running on the iPad and my phone, I downloaded to both devices, and we will see what happens, but it's been a pleasure to use so far. It came uh, highly recommended from one of our friends, Matt. So I know you see all these YouTubers using it, and I'm always scared, I'm not a techie guy, I'm always freaked out to get into a new system, but this is one of those ones I got into, and it was like super easy to use. Now, I hope it's not super easy to use because I didn't do it properly, but I think I did okay. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. So we'll be testing the new Jackery. We'll be testing Onyx, and we're bringing back the diesel heater. It's diesel heater season. Winter. So, yeah, that's going to kind of change the high altitude stuff as these months wind down. Um, the snow will push us down. We've said it before. We're not snow wheelers, so that's, that's just not us. I'd rather put up a tarp in the rain than deal with the cold and snow. And, you know, hopefully we'll get out to the island some more, do a little exploring over there. Cause yeah. It's a really beautiful place to be. And the ferries aren't as packed. And the ferries aren't as packed. <laughs> and, it's, yeah, tourism season's over. Yeah. Exactly. So we're going to also try something new. We are thinking, it won't be every time, but we're thinking we want to bring back some of our childhood memories when it comes to meals. The nostalgia effect, yeah. let's call it. Exactly. It's... Everybody's got those, you know, everything changes as you get older, but there's that one meal you had as a kid that you're like, oh God, that takes me back. You see a lot of people make, you know, campfire camp meals, or you see people make fancy meals with just like all out. But I don't want to do the same thing as them, so we're going to do the meals that kind of... We get that nostalgic feeling over and go down to those ones where like, you ate that as a kid? We're like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> we hope you maybe get some of your childhood memories from this too and maybe share some ideas that we can yeah. run with. and We'll do it for you. Yeah. Right on film. Exactly. As long as it's not really gross. Mm, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. Uh, so. Yeah. But this is just an update video, guys. Um, so we do have other footage that I just haven't been able to get to. We've just been busy. Life happens, right? We thought we would just touch base and uh, do the little PSA on the Jackery since it came in. We just wanted to give you guys a heads up of what you might have to deal with. Um, yeah, that's really all, all I got. Yeah, really, that, we hope you stick around through the winter months with us and uh, enjoy what we try to present to you. And until next time, Get out there, enjoy life, and find your moments. See you guys.